Hello, my name is Cortland Merkel, and I'm a staff attorney for Maryland Volunteer Lawyer Service. And I quickly want to talk to you guys about how consumer legislation that has passed in Maryland in 2024. A lot of great leg legislation has passed, and uh, some harmful bills were blocked. So let's, we got a lot to go through, so let's get started. On the medical debt side, House Bill 329 passed. It prohibits hospitals from using in geographic or service area tests when considering in a free or low-cost care. Now, if you qualify by income for charity care, a hospital cannot deny any financial assistance based on where you live in Maryland. Next is House Bill 728 and Senate Bill 705, the Access to Care Act. This will permit undocumented Marylanders to who, who buy and use individual health care plans through the Maryland Health Benefit Exchange. Moving on to um, energy protections, Senate Bill 01 passed, and it provides important protections for low-income consumers that have been flooded with door-to-door -door salespeople marketing third-party suppliers. This bill adds important guardrails and establishes license requirements for energy salespersons as well as bonding. It also makes issues such as this subject to consumer protection laws, and it increases penalties. Moving on to housing, House Bill 117, Senate Bill 946 has passed. It will strengthen the ability of renters to collectively pursue legal remedies in court. At present, similar maintenance complaints in a same apartment community can only be filed individually in court. This will be a great help hope for tenants. Next is Governor Moore's Renters' Rights Stabilization Act of 2024, House Bill 693, Senate Bill 481. It creates an Office of Tenants and Landlord Affairs in state government to help tenants know what protections they have under Maryland law and what legal actions they can def take to defend themselves. This bill also raises the cost of filing evictions while increasing the access to counsel for tenants. Next is Senate Bill 283. It removes key barriers to access and brings cohesive legal framework updates to homeowner property tax credit. The bill removes the requirement of providing a tax return only for those who do not have to file one for tax purposes. By doing so, it makes sure that eligible homeowners have less administrative and procedural steps needed to get those tax credits. Narrowing now to con uh, more consumer protection focus, we have House Bill 603, Senate Bill 571, Maryland's Kid Code. This is a pretty interesting one. It requires businesses to design online services and products and features that, re that are reasonably likely to be accessed by children and be made with those children's best interests in mind. Next is House Bill 701 and Senate Bill 539, which creates transparency for ticket buyers by requiring all-in ticket purchases and it bans speculative ticket sales. That's all for consumer legislation that's passed in 2024, but we, I would really like to shed a light on legislation that was stopped. In particular, House Bill 243. This was originally a great bill that extended Baltimore City's current tax sale protections statewide, but the bill was amended last minute to remove key protections for renters and other low-income households with tangled titles and misclassified properties that would, would have led families to lose their home if they had unpaid water bills. In blocking and in in doing this, it actually would have gutted the Water Taxpayer Protection Act of 2019, which ensured that no home would be sent to tax sale for water bills in Baltimore City. 
This bill has died. It tri It went through the House. It got through. It almost got through the Senate, but it died last minute. Therefore, ensuring no one will will lose their home over water bills in Baltimore City. Thank you again for listening um, to me. My, again, my name is Cortland Merkel. I'm a housing consumer staff attorney at MVLS. If you have any questions about housing and consumer law, you can give me a call at 443-451-4064 or email me at cmerkel at mvls.org. Thank you and have a great day.